So welcome to the end of closing um, session for us. Uh, that was a great last session talking about the highs and lows tournament. So right now I'm going to introduce you to Bernie Seifer. She's our deputy director and she's going to say a few words about the end of the conference. Okay, thank you, Michelle. Um, and so thank you everyone for uh, joining us for this year's NAMI New Hampshire virtual conference, Cultivating Hope and Celebrating Our Everyday Heroes. So whether you joined us for just one or two sessions of our program or for the whole thing, we're so glad you were able to be here. Um, and so perhaps you selected just one or two of our sessions because the topic kind of piqued your interest, um, or maybe because your schedule didn't allow you to join more than one or two session, whether or not, um, uh, no fear, we've recorded all the sessions and you can listen to each of them individually um, at your own convenience. Um, so last night we had a wonderful presentation by Dr. Amador who presented on the topic, I am not sick and I don't need help. Um, so this can help us provide help to provide us with un, some insight and understanding. Well, with some, someone we know, um, and since this is NAMI, so it's so oftentimes that someone we know is someone we love. Um, so they may feel like they may not, he, um, may not need help, uh, but we think they do, or we know they do. So what we do and how we can help them, um, Dr. Amador provided us with a few tips. So if you missed that one, really, you may want to watch the recording. So today's lineup was equally as wonderful. The day started with comments from our uh, NAMI New Hampshire's executive director, Susan Stearns. Um, and she was joined by the New Hampshire Department of Health and Human Services Commissioner, Lori Weaver. Uh, and Commissioner Weaver mentioned that the department has been working on, on an ongoing basis um, on a roadmap of what the department um, has in store for upcoming months and years regarding mental health. Um, and Commissioner Weaver used the phrase, if not now, then when? And that is a mantra that we here at NAMI need to continue to use. If not now, then when? And by we, I mean, I'm talking about our, all our volunteers, wonderful volunteers. We have our teachers um, of, of classes, leaders of support groups, our speakers, um, and all our families out there, um, as well as we as the NAMI New Hampshire staff. So we together can continue to reach for the stars and need to continue to demand that we and the people we love get the best mental health services possible. We need to continue on, on, on stopping that discrimination experienced by all who are faced with mental illness and mental health challenges, we must demand the best. And we also heard this morning heard from uh, Julio Del, Cero, Del, Del Sesto, excuse me, in sharing his and his family's journey um, and going from struggling as a very young child and young adult. And he beat the odds and proved them wrong and he became a successful college professor who cares deeply for his students and, and can and empathize uh, with their struggles. His message is truly one of hope and inspiration. Our friend from Hanford, Chad Ma uh, Meyer, joined NAMI New Hampshire's Brittany Porter and Christian Wells uh, to share a bit of his family's journey and why he gets involved in the annual NAMI walk. Um, it was so inspiring and so filled with hope, his message. Um, and he gives the message that we and you are not alone. We heard this afternoon from Dr. Christine Crawford, who shared uh, information about youth mental health and provided tips for parents and caregivers of children and youth experience men experiencing mental health related symptoms. Um, and if you feel like there has been an increase in the um, number of kids experiencing mental health symptoms, um, it's not your imagination, it's real. And Dr. Uh, Crawford showed how in the past 10 to 12 years, there really has been a progressive increase in kids experiencing mental health symptoms. Um, and mental health stress can be very draining emotionally and physically. And, we, and she talked about how we need to take care of ourselves as parents and caregivers when we're taking care of others. And I know that in my work here at NAMI New Hampshire, I've, I've run into a lot of family members and caregivers or some like to be called care partners who feel like they don't have time to take care of themselves. I don't have time to take care of me. I've got to take care of an individual. 
Um, and Dr. Crawford uh, highlighted, highlighted how important it is that in order to be the best caregiver we can be, we need to take care of ourselves. So if not for yourself, do it for the one you love. Um, Dr. Crawford gave us a little lesson on neurobiology to help us understand how we process stress and um, how you know the first step in being a good caregiver uh, for others is understanding why, uh, how we need to take care of ourselves. And it's an important lesson for all of us. And she talked also about the book that she's uh, written, You Are Not Alone for Parents and Caregivers. And it probably sounds a little familiar. Uh, Dr. Uh, Ken Duckworth wrote the book, You Are Not Alone, uh, a NAMI book that came out last year. Well, this is a sequel, You Are Not Alone for care Parents and Caregivers. She provides practical tools, advice, and tips for caregivers of children and youth in, uh, who are in need of mental health supports. And that book is due to come out later this year. So stay tuned, NAMI New Hampshire is on it. Um, this afternoon, we heard from Lisa Morgan, who presented on crisis support and suicide prevention for autistic people. Uh, she talked about the unique aspects and, rare, and risk factors related to individuals with autism and um, how our medical model looks at what is wrong rather than what does an individual need. And Lisa provided a lot of information that helps us better understand or identify what some of these needs may be. Um, she shared her personal stories through her presentation, which really made it very interesting to listen to um, and helped us better understand what the learning objectives were of her session. L needless to say, I learned a lot from her program and I highly recommend that you listen to the recording of the session if you haven't heard it today. And just a few minutes ago, we had a presentation titled Highs and Lows Tours, Community Cycling Event for Better Mental Health uh, by uh, Thomas uh, Dearborn is the chairperson of the Highs and Lows Tours. We also heard from Rob Cass and Eric Skinner. Um, and they talked about um, how their, you know, their biking, this whole bike tour is really a mission. It's a calling that they have. Uh, all the um, members of the highs and lows tours team have been touched by mental health and or suicide at some point. So it's really, and I know the, the short video that they showed at the beginning made me smile and the, the personal stories made me cry. So I, um, um, it was a very, very touching program to watch. So in closing, finally we say close. <laughs> I wanna thank our sponsors. Johnson & Johnson, WellSense Health Plan, AmeriHealth Caritas, New Hampshire, New Hampshire Community Behavioral Health Association, HCA Healthcare, thank you all. And thank you to the NAMI New Hampshire Conference Planning Committee. A special thank you goes to Michelle Watson, Karen Prive, Liz Hopkins, uh, Hodgkins, who paid extra close attention to the details of this program. Thank you for the behind the scenes support of Patrick Roberts and Emily Huff. And thanks for the valuable input from um, Adriana Grant, our volunteer representative on the planning committee. Uh, thanks to our communication staff, Kim Murdoch, for her support in getting the word out about this program. To Christian Welch and the development team at NAMI New Hampshire for their help with sponsors. And thank you for all the work you do every day to make this a better place. Take care of you. So that's all folks. And I hope to see you at This Is My Brave on May 15th, the NAMI New Hampshire's annual meeting on June 20th, and the NAMI New, ha New Hampshire walk on October 6th. Thank you all. Bye now. Bye. Thank you so much, Bernie. This was great. Um, Thank you all for being here today. Please make sure you fill out your evaluation and you can share the recordings um, and let more people who weren't able to attend or register, you know, see this valuable information. Thank you all. Have a great night. Bye-bye.